Hey everybody, Gunnar Rolla here with your recap of outrageous moments and things you may have missed last week on Travel Channel. And if you stay tuned, I've got an exclusive preview of what to expect on your favorite shows this week. I've also been keeping an eye on your social feeds. We love to hear what you have to say, so keep tweeting and commenting. We're all stuck at home right now, so we may as well be connected. This week on Ghost Adventures, we had poltergeist activity at a tiki bar. On True Terror, we learned about all kinds of entities, from the Sasquatch to the Wendigo. And on The Dead Files, aliens. The spoiler alert starts now. If you missed the Dead Files last week, the reviews are in. Last week's episode was three mind-blown emojis. That's a lot of minds to blow. That's two and a half more minds than I have. Geek Goddess said that was the most jaw-dropping episode of Dead Files I've ever seen, and Unofficial RD said, my mouth dropped 10 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to pick it back up. Of course, it's because in this episode we were dealing with aliens. Did you just hear that? You know, in the hierarchy of things that would terrify me, aliens are at the top. Ghosts usually take the form of what was once a living being or just energy. Ghosts just want to bug you, but aliens. I don't know what aliens look like. I don't know what aliens want. They are a whole separate category of terror. And I think Melancholy Dolly agrees saying aliens. I think that would scare me more than ghosts. And if you don't believe us, Check out the sketch from last week. Wow. Are those... Aliens? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Yikes. Lori Hartz tweeted, holy crap, that is a terrifying sketch. Thank you, Dead Files, for the nightmares that I will have tonight. Same. Not to worry, Rebecca has a helpful tip. Using salt at the windows and doors have kept the aliens away from me. I'm definitely gonna try that tonight. If you have any tips for keeping aliens at bay, let us know in the comments below. I'm spending a number of weeks at home and I wanna do whatever I can to make sure it's alien proof. Well, it seems that you are loving True Terror, our new series where we explore the darkest corners of America's past to uncover stories that are as terrifying as they are real. It's hosted by none other than Robert Englund, and if you don't recognize his face, you definitely recognize his voice. Don't believe me? <laughs> well then, I've got three stories to prove there are spirits playing all around us. Leslie said, the fact that Freddy Krueger narrated this makes it all the more awesome. If you are a fan of suspense and horror, you definitely want to check out this new series. Last week, we delved into the stories behind some very terrifying entities. Cody managed to sum things up pretty accurately, saying, the new episode of True Terror with Robert Englund features a horse-riding skeleton terrorizing the American Southwest. If you're not watching this show, you're missing out. There was one moment of last week's episode that really played into a personal fear of mine. Do you hear that? Yeah, I don't know what it was, though. Take this as a friendly reminder from me to you. When it comes to chasing the supernatural, you must be careful. Because chances are, it's gonna find you first. Second Wind writes, and now we have the classic nightmare of being stalked in the woods at night. I'm definitely never going camping again after this episode. Would you? Let me know. Comments below. On Ghost Adventures, the crew visits a tiki bar in Las Vegas, and if that concept on its own isn't enough to terrify you, there is a ton of poltergeist activity at this tiki bar. Ashtrays are flying, furniture is doing whatever it wants, there's a ton going on. As Jose notes, I cannot remember a Ghost Adventures investigation with so much activity, evidence, and pure darkness. Of course, one of the most outrageous moments had to be this one. What we are about to hear is one of the most incredible EVPs with full vocal tone that we have ever captured. What? What is what that? Is that? What? What the hell is that? What? That's tone. That, that's a, that's that, a that, female that, that, that's a tone. female's Listen. voice. Alexandria says, I still want to visit that bar the next time I'm in Vegas. And Jet says, as soon as we're allowed to leave our house, I'm going there. Listen, 
If you are going to be brave enough to visit a haunted tiki bar, you better hope that those ghosts are practicing social distancing and staying six feet away from you. I would not mess with that. I would leave it up to the professionals. So we had a wild week on Travel Channel and it is only going to get more intense. As promised, here's your sneak peek at what to expect this week. These men come in here at night and like just watch. Did you hear that woman yeah. scream? Yeah. It went, oh! And our good friend Robert Englund asks, What if the ghosts are where you live, work, sleep? Not exactly the question I want to ask myself while I'm trapped in my home where I live, work, and sleep. So let me know what your favorite Travel Channel show is and why in the comments below. Don't miss all new episodes of True Terror on Wednesday and The Dead Files and Ghost Adventures on Thursday. Stay tuned, stay scary. If you excuse me, I have to put some salt at my door.